Hey everyone, Brad Smith here. Today is Monday Marketing, and I wanna show you how to really get emails engaged, personalized, and get people to actually respond back. Now, there's so much hype online, so many theories and promises and all this crazy stuff that you should do this, this, and that, but does it actually work, and are you believing it, or have you tried it and not seen success? Now, I am focused on relationship building. That's really the only way to be successful online, or at least the only way that I've found and I've been successful. And I wanna help you guys really get in that mind frame. How can I create real relationships with my potential customers online? How can I engage with them? How can I follow up with them those six to seven times until they actually want to work with me and sign up and pay me? That's the whole key, right? Help more people. So by doing little marketing tricks, I'm not saying paying for marketing, but doing marketing to be able to engage with your clients more often until they sign up is really the key. And that's why I wanna help you guys. So this whole week is about emails. Uh, Wednesday, I have Whiteboard Wednesday about how email can be successful in connecting with clients. And I just wanna show you today a real example of it. Now MailChimp's a great place uh, just to show because they give you so many different templates, so many different marketing templates that you can use for your business. I'm gonna click on the first one, sell products. Now we all have in our mindset newsletters, right? Because that's what these email companies ha actually have you set up, is they have you set up these newsletter styles. They make it super easy for you. But this is not engaging. This is not what your customer wants to see. They don't care about your products until you already build that relationship with them. I use Under Armour as an example. I get emails from them. They're completely newsletters. The whole thing is newsletters. But I've already have the relationship. I'm already wearing their clothes. So I'm gonna go see what their deals are because we already have, I already know who they are. But you cannot send those type of emails until that person trusts you, until they have a relationship with you. So an email like this is just not gonna work for those six to seven times when you first reach out to a new person. Another thing I like to mention, emails with images, links, buttons, videos, anything in there that's colored, all this crap on the bottom, they're gonna go right to the promotion or the spam folder. That's not what you want. You want people to go, you want it to go to the inbox. You want people opening it up and reading it. So first thing we're gonna do is get rid of everything. Just remove everything in here. All you need is one simple text. And this is, I'm gonna reference the first email and then you're still gonna structure it going forward the same way. Everything, get rid of everything. <laughs> and now we just have a text, right? So this is the key part. Make it look like you're sending it right from your phone. If I open up an email here and I go to send it, it's gonna look like a normal text. Aligned all the way to the left, no images. This is personalized. If I send you an email from my phone, you're most likely gonna open it and at least think about responding back. It's gonna increase the conversion rates. When I send this like this, it's gonna to go to your inbox. As soon as I sent, start sending links, promotions, it's gonna to go to the promotions. Nobody's ever gonna read it, so you're wasting your time. So we're gonna structure it like this. Hey there, it's Brad from HealthLink. Wanted to reach out and see. Quick phone number in there so they know I'm real they can actually respond back now personalize now that very first email whether it's set up through automation which is the key right that's what we help with or you just send it when somebody comes to your site and they fill out some sort of form that very first email no links no colors no buttons no nothing you want them to respond because think about it when somebody responds to your first email it starts an email thread now, every time you guys go back and forth, that email thread stays in the inbox. If somebody doesn't open the first email or they don't respond back, you're, you might and you have a very high chance of going to their other folders and then they'll never hear from you again. They will hear from you again, but they won't know it. We want them to know it. So I'm gonna actually take this because this doesn't look real. I have a big bold headline at the top, normal text at the bottom. I'm gonna change this whole thing to 14. That looks a little small. That's not, that doesn't look like what I would send from my phone. That looks a little bit better there. 
All right, so that looks cool. Now I still have all this stuff in the back. So I need to get rid of all this, change the color to white. Cool, blank. I actually don't want to do the image. Change the color. Cool, now everything's white, right? Now I want to move this up. That's one thing I do have a problem with, right? With uh, MailChimp. All right, so this is super simple. Uh, let's see, I want to take that headline out. So I'm gonna change the colors. Cool, this is bold. Change it so it's not bold. So that's really what you want to do. Make it as personalized as you can. Now, I think this is really the only way, and this is the way you want to set it up. You can start sending links later on once they open your emails and you see that they're responding back. Then you can send images, um, anything to, uh, for them to click on, but make it transparent. So click here with a link inside of click here. They can't see that link. You want to show the full link, the full link they're going to be clicking on, because who knows where you're going to be sending them. Make them trust you. Build a relationship. Every email should continue building relationships. As an example, we set up a six email sequence for a chiropractor that we work with. Every email includes a testimonial. Ask them to respond back. Ask a question so they respond back and continues providing value. They're personalized. They're set up like the doctor sent the message right from her phone. They have the first name in there. We link up the first name. They're a great way for her to stay connected with her potential patients. Now, the very first email that these clients are receiving, she's actually getting people responding back and wanting to sign up. And these are people that weren't interested at the beginning. Maybe they filled out the form on her site. Um, they never came in and signed up and paid. Now she's reaching out via personalized email. They're responding back, yes, yes, I do want to get on the phone. Yes, I do have more information. I want more information. So this is a great way for you guys to build relationships with your clients online, which is the only way. Change the internet game, shake that person's hand through email, make it real, and just grow your business. So I hope this helped. Um, it really will help me out if you guys like, share, tweet, uh, you know, send it to somebody, I don't care. Whatever you like to do, please do it because it'll help us. It'll help us keep making uh, videos for you guys and helping out and make sure to leave a comment below if you have any questions. So thank you so much for joining me and I will talk to you soon.